just like this. What's up guys? This is a unicorn fish. This is part two of nighttime spear fishing. We caught this uh, at night because those guys sleep at night and when you see them they were sleeping it's so easy to catch them because during the day they just run away so quickly you can't really you can but it's it's really difficult to shoot one of these guys during the day but at night it's so easy and those kind of fish are fat in the winter time. In the summer, they're kind of thin. They won't taste very good in the summer. They, will, they would taste a lot better in the winter, but we are kind of in the middle, so I think this is gonna be good. And this is such an amazing fish. It's got a skin that's so extremely tough. And it has those sharp ends in the tail. And of course, that, that, that's why it's called the unicorn, because of this horn and we shot this i tried to shoot this fish head shot but it didn't really kill it so we had to finish it up over here just so it doesn't give us a hard time because it's big and uh, that metal part that we we used to put the fish in we didn't bring it when we went spear fishing in, fishing at night because we were looking for lobsters and we just had a bag uh that we put this fish in so we had also we didn't want to suffer to suffer so we just you know killed it so quickly so uh so it just it, it just you know lights go off and uh, and everything will be easy and we're gonna cook this one today we're gonna make fish shawarma today so check this out we're gonna fillet it and just fry it like any other fish and i'll show you what to do next let's do this okay as i said this fish has a skin that's extremely tough so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to cut through the skin we're just gonna poke it first. See, this is a really sharp knife and it's having a hard time, but we're gonna make it happen. So we're just gonna, you know, cut it like any other fish and I, the rib cage is, it doesn't have a lot of meat really. So we're just gonna avoid that. And yep, really, really tough skin, really tough. But the meat should be delicious, okay. I think we got all the way through. Then just gonna do it like any other fish. And, yep. I'm having a hard time going through the skin. Like, look at this, it's so thick. It's like a tire. There we go. Just gonna Try to fillet this fish and go all the way down to the tail. Just once you get to the tail, just put pull your knife through the other side and just cut all the way down. Okay. Just remove all that meat. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of meat because I have I have a cat here today that I want to feed this carcass to. Just make your knife do the work. Just feel the knife on the backbone. And just go over the rib cage. The rib cage, it's, it's a big fish, so the rib cage is gonna be tough to cut through. And if you have a flimsy knife like mine, you won't be able to cut through it. Which is actually a little bit easier just to leave that pin um oh it's got pin bones too so we're gonna remove this from the fillet as well look 
that all the way down. Just bring this whole thing out of the way. Look how big this fillet is. It's big. And check out the size of the bones. It's big. And I did, I did leave some meat here, but I'm giving this to the cat. Speaking of the devil, it's right here playing at my feet. So, okay, let me, let me skin this. Just like any other fish. Then don't worry about cutting the skin because you won't do it really. Just pull as hard as you can. Just remove all the skin. Beautifully peeled like a banana. And I'm also going to remove the bloodline and all that white and um, black meat. I, it's, it's fine to eat it, but it won't taste like the rest of the fish. So you can just remove that. Okay, let's, let's remove the pin bone. That'll make it a little bit e easier to do that. the pin bones this is gonna be for the cat as well if she likes it or he or crab meat all right let's just remove every last bit of this or as much as I can from this black meat and from this side as well And we will end up with just two beautiful fillets. And I'm gonna do this, ex I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other piece of fillet. And then I'm gonna portion them out. And then we're gonna fry them. All right, guys, look at this. This cat is gonna have a feast today. Just gonna let, put this on the ground here. Let it eat all the bloodline. Here, here, boy, enjoy. He's gonna love it. Okay. We cut this fish into portions this size so it fries faster. And now we're just gonna add some salt and spices. Maybe a little bit more salt. We got plenty of meat here. Okay, it's been about a couple of minutes and we're just gonna add the flour and just mix it up. We're gonna just throw it in the pan and we're gonna eat after that. Okay, all is hot enough. So let's put the fish on there. Yep, that sizzling means it's ready. Yes, stuck some fish in there. See, if it curls like this, that means there is more meat or muscle than fat. That's what I was talking about when I said this fish is very fat in the winter, not so fat in the summer. But we're in the middle, so it's getting fat. All right, I think we're going to do it in two portions. Once this is ready, we're going to put the other half. This is not going to take a long time at all. Thank you guys. Second load is finished. Already took out the first load. And we're just going to take all the fish out and I'll show you what to do next.
kind of let it get crispy because that's that tastes better. Okay, all done. I've got here some Lebanese pita bread, french fries, and some garlic sauce from the fried, uh, uh, fried chicken place. So let's do this. Uh, this is Lebanese pita bread, it's delicious. Gonna grab a few fish sticks here. Just put them on it like this. A few french fries. Just like this, and then that garlic sauce. That garlic sauce, guys, it's fantastic. It's delicious. You'll find it at every Arabian fried chicken place. And then you just roll it. Cheers. Bismillah. Mmm, <laughs> it's hot. I just ooze it out. That garlic sauce, man, this is really good. You also try this out. Look at this, steaming. Guys, this is fantastic. It's delicious. Very similar to. California burrito, but it's similar. It's not the same. It's, it's good. I'm not gonna say it's better. It's just as good because this is really delicious. Everybody should try this out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I will see you next time.